Are you ready for Stone Cold? It's Tommy Mars. Today's episode, we're going back to Morissette. Maury. Stone Cold. Asia's Phoenix has my heart. I am ready to see more. You guys have been recommending this, so I think it's about time that we watch Morissette Stone Cold. Many of you have come over to my socials and said, cello, and I appreciate it. If you want to join me over there, it's T-O-M-M-Y. M-A-R-Z-B-A-N-D, Tommy Mars Band. Come and say hello. It would be nice to converse with you. I like to talk about Maury. You know why? You know why. Because she's one of the best voices in the world. She's one of the best voices of all time. This weekend, I didn't actually have a ton of time, but I found time in between the stuff that I was doing for the site, for soundvapers.com, for this YouTube channel, for the podcast. I watched some of the stuff that I already watched of Maury. So I watched Never Enough and I watched Rise Up. I watched both of her performances again. It's just, I just can't get enough. She is, she's pretty spectacular. Right now I'm in such a treat zone because I started with Marcelito, found Maury from Marcelito, found Dimash from Maury. And now you guys are telling me you have to go listen to KZ, Katrina. If you're on that train, just know it's coming. I'm going to get to everything. I'm going to get to everything. Don't you even worry. But today, we're sticking with the Phoenix. Maury. I cannot get enough of Maury. Okay, let's go. I'm She was low, and then she went high on those two. The whole performance is a goosebump. Oh, my goodness.
Oh my gosh. She is one of those singers that you hold on to every breath that she takes, every breath that she makes. I really mean it. Like at the end of that there, it's like, I thought you, but she was just like, and it was like, even the crowd, you know, the people were clapping. It's like, it just took a second. Every time I I watch her perform, it's like, I need a break. I need a second just to kind of compose my, it's, it's, it's it's just, uh, friends, let me tell you something. I said about being blessed to be alive, you know, at this time to hear this. It couldn't be more true than listening to Morissette perform, to watching her. All right, I have some thoughts. Number one is, this is a different look for her, for me, that I've seen. I absolutely love her hair the way it is on here. It's uh, it's gorgeous. I loved her outfit. It's just her appearance is so good. I love the way that she looks. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. We talk about her voice, her performance, and all that stuff. To me, that's what a model looks like. Do you know what I mean? She just has a great look. It doesn't ever come off, and how do I say this? I don't want to... I don't want to offend anybody. It never comes off like cocky. You know what I mean? Like there are some singers when they sing or they hit a note or whatever, they know they did. They know they have the audience right there in the palm of their hands. And then you can kind of see it on their faces. I'm not mentioning any names. With Morissette, it is not like that at all. Like she feels so in tune with the song. It's such an emotional ride watching her perform because she just, her face goes through all these things and it makes you, it makes me go through that with her. That's so much more appealing to me as a viewer than almost anything else in the world. I mean, it really is to see her, her face break up, but then to hear her voice almost break up. She goes up and she reached those high notes. Incredible. What I was kind of popping for during the performance, she was like stone cold, same words, higher octave at will. She went right there to right there. You know what I mean? And it wasn't even, you know, I talk about the slide a lot. It wasn't even a slide where kind of when you're doing the slide, you kind of know where you start, you know where you're going to end up. When you do it cold like that, stone cold, but when you do it cold like that, it doesn't mean you're always going to just fall on it. And she falls on it every time. She's so good. She's so good. I have so many live performances to get through. I cannot wait to see them. I know there's nothing's nothing's going to stop us now, which is actually one of my favorite songs. I love that song. So I'm inclined to do that next. But I know, I read the comments from you guys that she just released something. I want to go listen to one of her songs that she just released from the studio because there, there's something about that too. Being in the studio, being in that setting, and then we get to hear the, probably what she thinks are the best takes. That's exciting too, right? We get to hear what she thinks is the best that she says, yes, I'm going to put this out into the world from a recording studio. So I think I'm going to do that next. I think so. If there's a specific song that is brand new from her from the studio, can you leave that down in a comment? Because I want to pick the correct one. I want to pick the right one. I want to pick the one that you guys said, just a crusher. So I want to know that. So I'd appreciate if you leave that comment. But I'm going to get to all the performances. So I guess to end this, I'm going to say is, don't worry. I'm going to get to every single thing more set. Maury and I have a journey. She doesn't know it, but I know it and you knew it. And we're going to go on that journey together, all of us, right? You and I, we're going to do that together this is amazing. She's incredible. It's Tommy Mars. I will see you in the next video. Love.